Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. My name is Kanad, and in today's video, we're gonna talk acoustic guitars. I've actually mentioned it pretty often, but as many of us do, I also started playing guitar on acoustic. Not only that, but the majority of my beginning years, I only played acoustic guitars, mostly strumming, because I just liked the sound of it. Of course, after a couple of years, I went ahead and purchased an electric guitar to see what the fuzz was all about. And the beginning of me playing electric guitar was quite difficult. See, by the time I bought my electric guitar, I had a good foundation on the acoustic guitar. I was just playing open chords and bar chords, but all full and chunky chords, and it sounded great on the acoustic guitar, but that didn't translate well to the electric guitar. Not only that, but the feel of the instrument was quite different. Uh, the acoustic had much more tension, I can strum harder, and my chords wouldn't go out of tune, but on the electric, as soon as I would strum it a little bit more, the chord would go out of tune and that just wasn't pleasing to my ears. In fact, it was only four or five years ago when I started playing the electric guitar the way it was meant to be played. Meaning I started playing lead guitar, different kind of chord shapes, other than the strumming guitar parts that I did on my acoustic. Don't get me wrong, the first five years weren't just on acoustic. I also played electric guitar and I had a rock band uh, that we used to perform and I couldn't wait to get my acoustic on set when we played a song that needed an acoustic because that's what I felt familiar with. In summary, it would be fair to say that the acoustic guitar was my first love, but weirdly enough, I haven't owned one or played one enough for the past four years until now. I probably don't need to mention it anymore, but my favorite guitar player of all time is Julian Lodge, and I discovered him through YouTube, where he was predominantly playing Telecaster. So the first clips of Julian Lodge that showed up on my feet were him with a Telecaster, but what made me practically worship him was his acoustic playing. Specifically, the fact that his acoustic guitar playing is not far away from his electric guitar playing. He said in an interview for Premier Guitar that people shouldn't be afraid of the acoustic guitar as this scary thing that you need to put a lot more work into to get a nice tone. In fact, according to him and now me, uh, the acoustic guitar gives you much more to work with than the electric guitar. And to be honest, I was terrified of playing acoustic guitars because I was used to playing amps and effects and all these other things that I could basically hide behind. And even if I played a high-end Martin guitar like my friend's Martin's Eric Clapton signature, I just felt that I couldn't get a nice tone out of it. That guitar especially is gorgeous and it sounds like a piano when you strum it, but with playing single notes, I struggled to get volume and the tone that I was looking for. And that mindset changed immediately after hearing Julian say that you don't necessarily need to play the acoustic guitar very loudly. In fact, if you play it softly with dynamics, that's the best way to connect with your acoustic guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what I did is I immediately ordered this Harley Benton CLA28 from Toman and when it arrived I opened the box, I strummed the chord and it sounded gorgeous. But then I started playing single lines and I, again that struggle that I had came back but then I immediately thought about that interview and I relaxed my hand, I took a deep breath, started playing again, focused on the sound that the guitar was producing and then I all of a sudden I enjoyed what I was hearing. With that being said, I need a lot, and I mean a lot of practice on acoustic guitar to sound as good as I can. But the moral of the story is you don't need to be frightened by your acoustic guitar. You just have to focus and try to enjoy what you're hearing out of it. Anyways, enough with the guitar philosophy. Let's talk about this gorgeous instrument right here. First and foremost, I bought this guitar myself with my own money. Uh, Harley Benton is not involved in making this video. They didn't pay me to make this video or anything like that. I bought this one particularly because my friend Martin from LM Guitar Corner, shout out to them, uh, he has a very similar guitar to this one, and I remember liking the sound of it, especially for the price. <laughs> I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I thought about getting an Eastman or something like that, but in my mind, I thought that I'm still gonna struggle with acoustic guitar and I'm gonna play it a couple of times and I'm just gonna hang it on the wall as decoration. But in the contrary, this has been the guitar that I've been playing the most in the past couple of weeks that I've had it because it's just, you grab the guitar, you sit on the couch and just play it and enjoy it or just go on the balcony and sit and play the guitar while you're drinking your coffee. And it also has to do with the satisfaction of getting an acoustic guitar to sound good. I myself am a person that likes challenges. And yes, I did agree with Julian, and I also did say that the acoustic guitar gives you a lot more than an electric guitar would give you, but that doesn't make it less challenging to play. It's actually more challenging, but again, that satisfaction level that you get from running a nice line on the acoustic guitar and having it sound clean and full and lush, it, it can't be matched. <clears throat> The guitar itself has a solid Sitka spruce top, it has walnut back and sides, and it has a Powell Ferro fretboard, but to my eyes, it actually looks a lot like ebony. The tuners are great, the bridge is really, really solid, and most importantly, the setup that came out of the box with this guitar was just incredible. It has a low enough action that you can play comfortably all around the neck, and the best part of it is that I didn't find any dead spots while playing this guitar. This guitar was actually a B-Stock guitar and it was quite heavily discounted, but I really can't put my finger as to why this guitar was a B-Stock in the first place. Now, does this compare to a 5,000 euro uh, Martin custom shop guitar? Let's not lie to ourselves, it doesn't. But does it compare to a sub 1,000 euro Martin made in Mexico? I think it does. It has a nice tone, it's loud enough for me to enjoy it here at home, and if it's not loud enough, then it has a pickup system, a Fishman Priestess 2 pickup system that I'm gonna test on a different video, and compared to a Custom Shop Martin that I played a while ago, the only difference that I can tell is that the Martin had much more low end and much more defined high end, which this guitar simply doesn't, and that's totally okay because the price of this guitar is close to 350, and the price of that Martin was 
3,500 euros and it's a huge difference but this guitar does exactly what I wanted to do and I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Ultimately, what this guitar did for me is revive my love for acoustic guitars to the point where I'm actually going to focus a lot more on acoustics than I did recently, which was zero. So, I mean, yes, yeah, so you're gonna see a lot more acoustic content coming out of my channel. I'm already in touch with Harley Benton to do some more videos on their other acoustic guitars and I also have a couple of uh, conversation with other brands that I think you really, really enjoy seeing on my channel. And I'm gonna be honest, had I known that I'm gonna play acoustic guitar this much, I would have spent a tiny bit more money to get a nicer acoustic guitar. But at the end of the day, this really does everything for me, so I can't complain. Nonetheless, please let me know under the comment section down below, what do you think would be an acoustic guitar, let's say in the price range of 1,000 to 1,500 euros or dollars that you think I would like. All right, so this is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave this video a thumbs up, leave a comment with your thoughts, and most importantly, subscribe if you want to play Silku Smooth. Can't believe I said that. Thank you so much for your time and your support, and I hope to catch you with the next video. Until then, stay safe and have a good one. Bye-bye.